Hi booktube, Lynette here and in this video I'm going to tell you about the books that I plan to read in the month of August. Now I have some carryovers from July, I didn't actually manage to complete my July TBR uh, but I'm going to carry all of those over to August and hopefully I can get through them all. But the absolute first book that I have to finish this month is The First Sister by Lyndon A. Lewis. This is a science fiction novel set in space. It's set mm. at the point that humanity has destroyed Earth and it's no longer habitable and we have had to venture into space and we have colonised Mars, Mercury and Venus. And there is now more than one race of humans. Uh, we have the Geans, who are based from Mars. We have the Ikari, that are based on Mercury and Venus. And we have the Asters, who are space-based, but are called Asters because they, if they do colonise anywhere, they tend to colonise an asteroid belt. So we're following the first sister, who is on a ship. And the first sister is part of a religious organisation who <clears throat> basically the, the sisters are basically pimped out. Uh, think Handmaid's Tale in space. This does make the start of this book very difficult. And in fact, I'm about halfway through it at the point that I'm reading this uh, because I have to finish it right at the beginning of August. And it's uh, it, it refers very specifically to rape. Uh, because the sisters are basically given over to ships and the men and women of the military, because these are all military ships that they're on, basically have control of these sisters and their bodies. The sisters are there to take uh, confessions from, so like I say, it's a religious order, so kind of they're on the level of a priest, but then the parishioners can then do what they want with these sisters as well, which is... I don't have to read about something like that happening, um, or at least so far in the book, but it does talk about it having actually happened to the character that we're following. She has no name, all she's referred to is as First Sister. She has been given a new captain, that's what happens at the start of this book, and she has been asked by the Sisterhood to spy on the captain, which goes against everything the Sisterhood stands for. So she is actually a traitor to her religion. She's also a traitor to her captain, who she's supposed to give the utmost loyalty to. And she's stuck between this rock and a hard place. We are also following another character called Leto. And Leto is an Akari, and the he is part of the Ikari military. And he has been tasked with finding a rogue military agent who was previously his partner. And he has been told that when he finds the agent, he has to kill him because he's gone rogue and he has switched sides from the Akari. And he's been partnered with someone new and there's problems surrounding this and he has some issues himself. And we're following them as he's going on that journey. I'm presuming at some point the two storylines are going to converge, come together and they are going to... Uh, have a clash because I think somewhere along the line their belief systems are going are going to um, come together and they they're going to find that they want the same thing but in different ways. Uh, so I need to get that finished very early in August. This is an advanced reader copy and the actual book releases on the fourth of August and it's the second of August when I'm filming this. So I really need to get a move on with it and get it finished so that I can get my review up ready for release day. The next book that I want to read is a carryover from July for Romanceopoly and that is Lorna Doon by R.D. Blackmore. This book is set primarily in the Exmoor region of the UK which is based on, which is in Somerset and Devon. It uh, straddles the two counties and it's a story of love across the divides. Um, it's about a farmer whose family uh, father has been murdered by an outlaw family and as an adult he meets and falls in love with a daughter of the family and it's about their forbidden love story it's about obviously what happens surrounding there I had to pick this book because it is based 
near to where I live. Um, so uh, I've been wanting to read it for many, many years. It was one that I was brought to my attention when I was about 11, 12, I think, by my grandmother. And she handed it to me and said I should read it. It was a story I think that had intrigued her. Uh, she's been to a lot of the areas that are mentioned in this book as a tourist. So she thought that it would be a good one for me to read. Um, my my grandparents were recommending books for me at that stage and um, they she thought it would be a good one for me to read, but I never got round to it. Um, so I'm hoping that I can actually finally get to this in August. The next book is another carryover from July and that is The Duchess War by Courtney Milan. This is, um, again, a Romanceopoly carryover from July and I picked this book primarily because obviously it fits the prompt but also because Courtney Milan is an author of colour and again it's continuing my journey to diversify my reading and this is about Minnie who is a bespectacled called Wallflower and she wants to stay that way she has a bit of a scandalous history uh, which I don't really know what that's about yet but a duke comes to town who she then starts to get to know he's up to something and she figures out what it is and it's about how their relationship develops from there and obviously falling in love and you know there's going to be happy ever after um so again looking forward to reading this one um i'm just been mood reading through the month of july really and into august so that's probably going to be the theme for the rest of this year probably but that is another one that I absolutely really want to get to in August. So the next three books, again, two of them are carryovers from July. If you've seen my July wrap up video, then you probably spotted that I didn't talk about any in death books in that wrap up. And that's because I didn't read any in July. So I have now fallen behind with the in death read along. The in death read along is to read one of the in death series by JD Robb every month. I was going to read two last month because there was the main book and then there was a novella that followed the main book in the timeline. So the books that I intend to read are Holiday in Death, Midnight in Death, and those are the two carried over from July. And then I intend to move on and read Conspiracy in Death. The In Death series follows a New York police detective called Eve Dallas and she investigates murders and serial killers and these books are no exception it will be the same thing and it's all about how then the wider family that she has that she's found and created for herself uh, so her husband Rourke his butler Somerset uh, her aide in the police department Peabody her best friend and her partner and uh, Feeney who is the IT tech guy uh, for the police department and how they all come together to solve these murders and how each one is individually implicated because usually one of them is either implicated in the murder or is in or is in uh, danger from the murderer and it's about how Eve solves the murders they're quick fun reads I really do enjoy them I don't know why I didn't get to them in July I think I just I just was not in the headspace in July I really struggled uh, with reading at all in July so I'm hoping that August is going to be better and that I can get through these fairly quickly. The next two books are because Sam over at Tome Thoughts on Tomes has announced another round of Tome Topple for August and this starts for at midnight on the 8th of August and it runs for two weeks from there so it will finish on Friday the 21st and the, in the May Tome Topple I picked up a series of books by Robin Hobb. It was the Tawny Man trilogy which is Robin Hobb's third series in her Realm of the Elderling series and in July because it was my birth month I treated myself to paperback copies of the entire Realm of the Elder, Elderlings series books and I'd previously been reading them on Kindle. Um, I had owned the first three series and part of the fourth series in paperback and hardback because I was reading them as they were released um, back in the early 2000s and I only got part way through the fourth series which is the Rain Wilds Chronicles. The first two books in paperback are more than 500 pages each. The 
theme of the readathon that Sam sets is to read books at more than 500 pages long. She does set prompts and you can follow the prompts if you want to, but you don't have to. You can pick any book you like and as long as it's more than 500 pages and you're reading it during those two weeks. You can't have started it before Tone Topple unless you were previously reading it in another round of Tone Topple. Um, so I got a, I've got another book that would be perfect, but unfortunately I didn't read it during the last Tone Topple, so I can't pick it. So I thought that this time, because I'd bought those books, that I would start reading The Rain Wild Chronicles by Robin Hobb. And the first book is Dragon Keeper, and the second book is Dragon Haven. Now, these follow on from the second trilogy in the series, which is The Live Ship Traders. And we are now following a batch of new dragons that have hatched following uh, the previous series. And unfortunately, they're a bit sickly. Um, they are malformed. They're not very well. So a group of Rainwilds people are assigned to look after them and do something with them. And as part of this, the memories that the dragons have, because they, they have inherited memories from their families, the dragons actually have a um, memory of a city called Kelsingra and over the course of this series they want to try and travel and find this city and that's what these are about. Unfortunately, like I say, I didn't actually get through the entire series the first time around that I read them. I can't remember whether I finished Dragon Haven and started City of Dragons and then stopped there or whether I bought City of Dragons but never started it. Um, so... Yes, I'm going to be back at work those two weeks, so I'm not going to have a lot of reading time. Um, I'm going to take them with me because I can, uh, but depending on what how work is, um, is going to depend on how much I want to read during the evenings, which is what this is going to rely on me doing to achieve it. So those are my two picks for Tome Topple. And the final book that I have to read for the month of August is the Just One More Page book club pick, and that is Beartown by Frederick Buckman. Frederick Buckman is an author you hear a lot about if you uh, watch videos on YouTube. He's read by a wide variety of YouTubers. It doesn't seem to matter what they read, what their main genre is, they read Frederick Buckman at some point. Beartown is about a town in a Swedish forest that is gradually being swallowed by the forest year on year. Only something happens to give a bright new feature to the future to the town and then something happens to put that in jeopardy and it's all about how the town deals with that and should they hide what's happened or should they be open about it and move forward from there. I'm looking forward to reading this book. I joined the Just One More Page book club because they, Jess, who runs the book club, does not read a lot of books that are in the genre that I would typically read. We have some crossover. We both read a little bit. She reads a little bit of fantasy. I read a little bit of fantasy. But in the main, uh, we do not read the same books. And the types of books that she reads, so Beartown, um, they're, they're a genre I'd want to try more of. And I need to stop dismissing those books. I want to read more widely. Not only do I re want to read more diversely in by reading about people of colour, reading books by people of colour, I want to read books that are outside of my comfort zone, my genre comfort zone, which is romance, fantasy and a little bit of science fiction. So I'm really looking forward to reading this and we'll have a chat. Uh, she'll have a chat book for us at the end of the month. So I've got some books now that I want to give an honourable mention to because I want to pick these up and hopefully try and finish them during the month of August. The first book is one that I've been reading since around about the end of May, I think, and that is The Shadow Rising by Robert Jordan. I am about halfway through this book. I haven't read any of it at all in the month of July. I'd read a good chunk in June. Um, but I want to get on and read more of it. This is the fourth book in his Wheel of Time series, in Robert Jordan's Wheel of, Wheel of Time series. And it's a complete series, and it's one that I started reading, again, like the Robin Hobb ones. I was reading them as they were being released back in the early 2000s. 
late 90s early 2000s and I really want to get on and finish reading them because I got stuck about halfway through and never completed them and again I hit um and then in the late 2000s I hit a pretty bad reading slump and never finished the series and I've got them all I've bought them all and I just want to get on and finish it because I've heard brilliant things about the end of this series The next book I want to give an honourable mention to is the third book in a series that my nephew has lent to me and that is The Knights of Neustria by H.L. Dennis. This is the third book in the Secret Breaker series. It's about a group of young teenagers who have been brought together and put into uh, Bletchley Park to try and crack the secrets of an unread manuscript. And it's all about the adventures they go on, the codes they have to crack on the way. Um, and this is the third book in the series. Uh, again, it's got um, references to King Arthur, to Shakespeare, to um, the composer who wrote the Enigma Variations. So it's it's quite a, got a, quite a wide variety. The author has uh, written about people who exist, who actually lived as well. Um, like I say, I started it in July. I didn't get very far with it. I got about a third of the quarter of the way through it. Um, so I really want to pick that one up and finish this one as well at some point during this month. And the final book that basically it's a new it's a new purchase uh, and it's staring at me from across the room. Um, it's on my TBR cart where I shouldn't really have put it, but. When I was looking to purchase the Robin Hood books, this one was recommended to me when I was on Amazon. And I think it's a self-published book from the size of it. It's got to be. It's not. Well, I don't know. But that is Winter's Fury by A.E. Rain. I know absolutely nothing about this other than it's a fantasy novel. There is a battle for a kingdom. Um, there is blood betrayal there is war there is i think there's a bit of romance um it was a complete cover buy this cover to me is absolutely stunning um but i'm really intrigued by it and there is it's a the first book in a trilogy uh, and it's the furic saga and i really want to carry on read it the other two covers are absolutely stunning as well so i, I want to pick them up too um but yes i don't know hmm yes uh it's a bit of a chunk it's 750 pages it's absolutely massive this is really heavy to hold i have no idea how i'm going to manage to read it without breaking a wrist um the other biggest book on my tbr is the shadow rising so there's that one there's that one if i put the two together that's the size difference now bearing in mind the shadow rising is a thousand page book i mean just look at the size of this book compared and it's like i say it's really intriguing me and i've added it to my tbr because it's staring at me from across the room and i probably am going to pick it up at some point so i thought i'd add this to the tbr So that's everything I plan on trying to get to in August. Like I say, I'm mood reading a bit, so I've got my set books I need to read. So I'm going to give them priority in the month of August. Uh, and then I shall just see how I go from there. What have you got planned for the month of August? What are you planning on reading? Do you have anything fun planned? Um, if you have, let me know. In, well, regardless of whether you you know they're definitely fun if you're planning on reading them so let me know in the comments down below i'd love to chat about them with you and i will speak to you all again soon bye mm -hmm.